What's up long range shooters? Thanks for joining. If you're new, welcome. This is Kenny from Eagle Eye Shooting. Today, if you're looking for a long range camera system solution for shooting long range and senior impacts, we're gonna be trying out the STS long range camera system. This was sent to me by MIG, which is measuring grains, a good friend of mine. Today, we're gonna to be pushing the limits at one mile, seeing how this thing does. Stick around. So this is the STS Long Range 1000 camera system, sent to me by MIG. It's a simple camera transmitting device that doesn't use an app, and all it does is transmits a Wi-Fi signal using a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi access point in the IP camera to a little bit beyond a mile. This camera is able to produce a 720 resolution, transmitting a 2.4 GHz to a 9-inch TFT monitor receiver. The camera also has a built-in infrared lighting system that activates on a sunlight sensor. So in this package, you'll receive two decent tripods, the Wi-Fi access point transmitter, long range antenna, the camera itself, and the TFT monitor. Also included is the two chargers for the battery packs. Now to mitigate the risk of me hitting this camera, because it is kind of expensive, I'm using a 10 inch gong and I'm mounted on a spider style tripod. The only thing exposed is the antenna wire and the antenna itself. One thing I would upgrade is a longer SMA cable for the antenna to put it further out. So let's see how well this thing does at one mile, how well it transmits, and if there's any issues at all. Looks like we got an impact. Awesome. I don't know if you guys can see that. One right here. Okay. So one of the downsides on the system is that there's no sound on it, but the impacts do come in pretty clear. So I got one on the top left quadrant and uh, that was me holding uh, left side of plate. Um, and we're on this wobbly ass table. So uh, let me see if I get another one on, on plate. Impact. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, right there on the water line, left center plate. Um, I was holding dead center of that, so let me come over one click, right. Well, this heat's just wreaking havoc on all of my uh, electronic equipment. Even my phone's overheating, and looks like the camera's still up and going, but it uh, looks like the pole either fell or something. Um, I'm looking up at the target now on the uh, monitor here. So uh, at least I'm on target. I know exactly where my impacts are. And uh, pretty sure I won't hit this thing, Mig. So we'll go uh, another five more shots then head up to the target and we'll check it out. Like the bottom right there. Do one more. See if I can just hit the target. Oh, impact. Can't tell where it's at, but that was an impact. Alrighty, we're gonna call that good. Three impacts and I got two uh, pretty close shots. Um, you know, not the best shooting conditions today. So the barrel does start to walk after it gets pretty hot. So that's exactly what it's doing. But at one mile, the 6.5 Creedmoor seems to be holding up. And this STS long range camera, man. Yeah, that's a good, good thing to have. One thing I wish it had was the audio, so. Let's go ahead and check out the target, check out where the camera is, and see what kind of impacts we got. All right. 
right, yep. So, uh, looks like that little uh, adhesive tape that holds this camera let go. So, the camera was up here pointing up at the cam, at the target. Kind of like that. The heat out here is definitely playing a toll on my uh, camera equipment. You can see there, that's where it used to be. Simple fix, I could probably come up with a little better mount. Of course, this uh, plate here is 100% protecting that thing. So, no impacts on uh, either the antenna, the camera, but we do have three impacts on steel. So let's see what we got. Here's the two. Looks like this is the first impact that I backed it up with a shot there, um, holding the same spot. So uh, roughly uh, like seven, seven inches. And then after that, we've been fighting the wind a little bit and the heat. And I got the third impact up here on uh, steel there. So everything else uh, was going straight, just, just right over it. A couple of nicks. Uh, here's one right here, close to the chain. There's another one. So <laughs> if I would have brought that down one M away, I would have been dead center. But um, one mile using the STS uh, long range camera with the long range transmitter antenna. Uh, did good today. And um, with a 117 degree weather, definitely held up to the heat. Um, and I believe I could get a little bit more uh, footage. Well guys, the STS long range camera system, it's a good, simple way of getting a camera to look at your target long range, see where your impacts are. Um, definitely does help out your spotter. And if you don't have a spotter and you're doing what I'm doing, solo long range shooting, this is an awesome setup to have. But I like to say, stay tuned because I do have a system that I will be trying out for around a hundred bucks that you can make. And it'll be a DIY style camera for long range shooting with audio. So stay tuned for that. Let's head back to the reloading bench. Let's talk about that SME bullseye.